At one time or another, your closet may have resembled something like that guy behind me, but today I want to show you some tips, some tricks that I find really easy to use that can help your closet go from that to something you can actually be proud of. You can't find your shoes, you can't find that shirt you want to wear to that pool party, that dress you bought last summer that you want to wear this summer because you forgot you even had it last summer, can't find that dress your mom wants you to wear, I may have thrown that out. We get dressed every day, might as well make it easy on ourselves. Okay, so first things first, empty out the closet. I'm talking completely empty. If we're gonna get to the bottom of this, we need to see everything out on the table. Now on to folding. Everyone has their own style of folding things, but this is the technique that I like. Let's start with the t-shirt. Fold it in half lengthwise into one long rectangle. And then imagine this rectangle is divided into thirds and fold along those lines, making a smaller rectangle. The more folds, the less wrinkled an item will get. I like this method because you can literally fold anything into a manageable size. And following this pattern every time gives uniformity to even the most random pieces of clothing. Into the closet it goes, and on to the next. Hangers. We've all been there. Let's upgrade to this. And while we're at it, here's a fun way to hang a sweater that won't stretch out the shoulders. Fold the sweater in half and place the top of the hanger in the armpit. Now fold the arms over, then the torso, and mind blown. Okay, this little trick involves hangers and those sticky little bumpers you put on the back of a frame. Adding these bumpers will keep slinky little numbers from sliding off hangers that don't have any grip. See that? This dress isn't going anywhere. What are shower rings doing in your closet? Well, they're great to use as hooks. I wear jeans every day, and it's nice to have them easily accessible. So instead of folding them, I put them on a hook just like this. And here's another thing you can do with the rings. Stack them up and you instantly have an accessories holder for scarves or belts. I like to group my clothes together by type, but I also hang them in ascending order so it looks pleasing to the eye. And I'll finish it off with an easily accessible lint roller. So there you have it. Those are some quick tips to get your closet in order and make your mornings and getting dressed a little less stressful. Thanks so much for watching YouTube. Click here to subscribe to Refinery29. Click here to see some more videos. And as always, comment below with some hacks you want to see in the studio. See you next time.